Hello and welcome. We're going to talk about colligative properties or colligative properties today. And colligative properties are physical properties that depend only on total solute concentration. They do not depend upon the identity of the solute. And I think that's one of those definitions that sounds kind of boring, actually. And maybe when you read it and you listen to it out loud, it's like, well, what are you really trying to say there? So these are physical properties as opposed to chemical properties. And they only depend on the total solute concentration. So, for instance, what we're saying here is that a one molar solution of glucose is going to behave exactly the same way as a one molar solution of formaldehyde. And I think that is probably a good place to look at and say, well, that's kind of weird, isn't it? So, for instance... Would you drink a one molar solution of glucose? Yeah, probably. I mean, I don't see why not. Would you drink a one molar solution of formaldehyde? Heck no, definitely not. We know they're totally different things, right? So we would expect them to have totally different chemical properties and chemical reactions. And I think that's the surprising thing in this whole section is that although glucose and formaldehyde are very, very different molecules, they actually behave exactly the same way in this section here, this colligative property section. So what exactly are we on about here when we're on about these colligative properties? What are these physical properties? Uh, well, we're gonna discuss three of them and uh, they're gonna be boiling point elevation, the idea that as soon as you add a solute to a solvent, it will raise or elevate the boiling point of the solution. And secondly, freezing point depression. So the freezing point of the solvent is actually lowered or depressed by addition of solute. And again, whether it's glucose or formaldehyde, what we're saying is that it's only the total concentration that has the effect. So one molar glucose will have exactly the same depression and freezing point as one molar formaldehyde. And the last thing is gonna be osmotic pressure. So the osmotic pressure of a solution is completely independent of the type of molecules we've got in the solution, instead it's just the total concentration of the solute.